This is KNEB.TV Weather from the KNEB Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. Well, how about we deal with uh, clear skies tonight again? Winds are going to be a bit gusty at times. Otherwise, uh, not much going on here again tonight. Another windy day again tomorrow. I think it's uh, going to be warmer as well. Breezy and a bit cooler on Saturday, but unfortunately, we still see nothing coming in the precip department. Red flag warnings and high wind warnings kind of dominate the region. Red flag warnings here in the eastern panhandle down in northeastern portions of Colorado as well. Uh, that's where we have the red flag warnings out. As we move out beyond uh, the red flag warnings, we have, uh, well, really not bad at all out there. Uh, yesterday, we hit temperatures that were much below normal, only 56 after a morning low about average of 33. Nothing in the rain gauge again yesterday. There's a shocker for you. And uh, we're now uh, over five and a quarter inches short for the year. Another day uh, yesterday, we finally the one uh, almost uh, four or five days in a row there of above normal temperatures. We snuck another below average temperature in there. And as you can see, uh, not much precip since last week here in the region. And don't hold your breath that any's coming. Very, very small rain chances as we go through the next seven days. Let's take a look at winds, though. Those are going to be around. We're going to be windy tomorrow, breezy on Saturday, then just uh, lighter winds as we go uh, Sunday through next week. So tomorrow's school day forecast, how about 42 for the morning? We'll give that a B. Yeah, another C minus on the way home is we're going to be windy again here in the region. Boy, we are avoiding the cold air, though. That cold air is entrenched here in northern portions of the country. The dome of cold air there from uh, areas like Fargo and Sioux Falls over towards Chicago, that dome of cold air stays off to the west or east of us, and we've kept it over there. Uh, we've got mostly 50s and 60s here in our area, so it is cooler than what we've seen, but uh, not anything near as cool as what's going on to areas to the north and east of us. And winds have been stout all day out of the northwest and uh, quite gusty, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45 gusts at times. Very strong winds out there, and those aren't going to go anywhere as we go through uh, tomorrow. Again, we're going to keep the winds around. Futurecast is quiet other than the winds, just a passing cloud. That's about it. And winds are going to come down tonight. Uh, we'll decrease into that 10 to 20 mile an hour range early and then keep winds under control till early tomorrow morning. Then winds are going to pick back up. You can almost see the clouds just flying overhead there as we look through uh, tomorrow afternoon and evening and into early Saturday morning. We have an increase of clouds around on Saturday you can't rule out a sprinkle maybe Saturday as well. Lows tonight in the 30s to uh, low 40s. Tomorrow's highs a little nicer. Upper 60s and low to mid 70s out there. And as far as precip, we don't see much coming uh, here over the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. 41 and clear tonight. Wind's still pretty strong, though, at 10 to 20. Tomorrow, sunny early, partly cloudy, windy later in the day. Going to see winds at 20 to 30, gusts 40 plus, and in the 70s for a high. And then our uh, seven-day forecast, we're breezy on Saturday. We drop back into the 60s. We'll stay in the 60s and to near 70 through most of next week, but bring the winds down and uh, really not a bad forecast for the next seven days.